experience is just something that, that we don't see anywhere in the world and, and you know to be honest it's a little bit daunting to think uh, going around the circuit in the dark. The car's been good all weekend so uh, all we have to do is uh, do our bit. The green flag is out and we are his work has got a decent start from pole position up Mountain Straight. That is just a wonderful, wonderful sight. It's Shane Van Gisbergen who leads the opening racing lap of the Liquid Molly Bathurst 12 hour. Officially, the outright lap record of Mount Panorama. That is the fastest lap ever recorded in a motor race at this circuit. By anything. By anything. Oh, that was side by side in the Caltex chairs there. Oh, Bell. And that's broken. The 60 suspension. car has come out the worst of it. It's the left rear, and that was a touch, I'm afraid, by David Russell sticking the big Bentley nose in where it wasn't required. Now, can Rob Bell get that car into the pit lane? The start was fantastic. The car was working really well. It wasn't too bad in the dark, actually. The lights did a good job. So we went from P6 to P3, and we, we looked pretty racing. The pace is good. The car's good around here. We're doing a really good job. The team have made all the right calls, but it's a bit of a signal that, you know, we should be fighting for the lead right now and through no fault of our own. We're three laps down. Be pit lane bound. Alvaro Parento is ready to go in pit lane. Fury get the ready. Led the whole stint and really comfortable. Track was really grippy. Car was hooked up well, so just pushed on and wasn't pushing crazy like qualifying. So to do a time like that is surprising. Alvaro Parento did a 2016 and then he's just done a 2018. Absolutely flying the race leader, and the margin out to 41 seconds. Well, real drama here, back at the mountain as one of the favourites has come to a halt on the Liquid Molly pit lane straight, and a reboot for the McLaren number 59, and Alvaro Parent has forward motion. There's fire in the turbocharged McLaren engine, and it's going heart-stopping moment for the team. If not, the small issue we had over there was awesome first stint. I loved it. Clear air. We were the fastest car out there. That second sector is fantastic on our car. Very, very quick. Parent goes side by side with one of the Audi's. Trenny Rust. Trenny Rust getting a little light up. Hello, I'm here. Hello, excuse me. Coming through, excuse me. Coming through. McLaren coming through. Thank you. McLaren just looks right here, I've got to say, the 650S, an enormous upgrade, and this is the first year they've come here in full strength, and haven't they been strong? Car 59 is uh, going really well, we've been always been in the top 3-4, um, so it's all very close. The car was going really well, so we had no problem, the balance of the car is really good, also the degradation of the tyre was uh, very good, it was easy to do the double stint. We have our Joker card still uh, behind, which is uh, Shane from Gisbergen. He's very fast here, knows the track very well, knows the car very well, so we'll get him in, and then the game is really on. As Jonathan Webb peels car 59 away from the lead of the motor racing. As Richie gets support. There's an awful lot of clear track there as he came out, so he's got the perfect opportunity to get out, get up to speed, and start doing what he does best right on board the Techno McLaren. Van Gisbergen just about stays on the pavement. And black flag, car 59. Oh, no. Pit lane penalty, speeding in pit lane. Ah. That is a game changing moment. He's got three laps to serve the penalty. Comfortably the fastest guy on the racetrack. Could be the difference between going a lap down or staying on the lead lap. Into the pit lane then. Now, he's got to get on the limiter at the right time and not let that adrenaline get the better of him. Middle sector was immense, that lap. He's going to be safe to be on the lead lap. So it's costly. But once he's out, big deep breath. 
pull the straps down, set yourself in. SVG now is going to be set to full attack mode. 12 seconds, the gap, first to fourth. It's SVG around the outside. Don't tell me you did this. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. So in comes the McLaren. Fuel, no tyres, see you later, Shane. So effectively, he's taking his splash and go right now. This is going to be mighty tight, guys. The Nissan is starting to hop down. And Asperger. here comes Van Gisberg, and he's on the lead with Oli Pit Street. He's going to clear him, Shane. Van Gisberg will go to the lead. Take no Autosport back in front. It's about speed and consistency, but no risks needed now because he is in the lead. This should be the start of the last lap for Shane Van Gisbergen as he comes through. The marshals are clapping Van Gisbergen. Van Gisbergen is enjoying the evening sunshine. Go on then, go on, Shane. Hey, it's waving. The teams are on the pit wall, everyone is on. The look at Molly start, finish straight. He's got three corners as he comes through the Caltex chase for the last time. He'll just come down the hill towards Maguire's. The crowd, you can hear the crowd over the noise of the racing cars. Shane Van Gisberg can kick out the clutch. He's going to win it, but just Techno taking it in 2016. What a motor race. Shear across the line. 1.2 point two seconds. 1.2 seconds. <laughs> what an astonishing end to that race. That is amazing. To end up winning is just unbelievable. We're against some of the best people in the world here. And to beat, to beat that lot is just fantastic. Absolutely great. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. It's been a great weekend here with Techno and McLaren. And just so pumped for the guys, Alvaro and Jonathan. They did a great job and the, the team strategy was just awesome. So pumped we could come out here and win this race. It's a really cool feeling. First weekend for Techno to associate themselves with McLaren. You know, what better way to come out and win the race? Qualified P1, won the race. You know, really looking forward to what we can do together in the future. The results speak for themselves. You always want to come away with a Grand Slam. It rarely happens. We did, we did this weekend. When you win a 12-hour race in GTs at this level, it's one of the best. I've been fortunate to have some wins in my career and uh, some good ones, you know, and, uh, and this one's right up there, you know, and uh, it's my first time here, so what more could I ask? Definitely the biggest uh, GT win so far. I've had some great wins at Blancpain, but to come and win this as a Kiwi and winning a McLaren is something that's really special to me.